Two things. Barksdale in Game 5, pitch skew for the series. So let's talk about Lance Barksdale Game 5. Washington was pretty upset, and you saw them yell and scream and stomp, and they kept showing pitches that Barksdale missed over and over again. So those appeared, the two pitches, strike three call to a Nationals batter on a ball that was outside, and a ball call with a two-strike count to a Houston batter on a pitch in the strike zone. And those were the things that got shown over and over and over and over again, and you thought, wow, this umpire's bad. But you look at the computer, and this is what gets me. Fans love the computer. Robot strike zone, computer umpire, they love it. But when the computer doesn't support their emotional argument, <laughs> you'd love it if there was some consistency here. Because the computer actually shows that Barksdale, number one, had a remarkably average game. It wasn't deplorably bad or anything. Number two... Pitch skew, where we take favors for both teams throughout the game and we add them up and see which team the umpire favored throughout the game, was zero. That is a neutral plate score. So he was entirely unbiased per the computer. But again, that's not what you're going to hear from the fans because they're exposed to the media that shows the players and the manager on Washington yelling and stopping and doing all of these things. And you see that Barksdale missed some key pitches that went against Washington, but you don't see the same thing on the other side because no one shows them. Now, that said, game situations were different. Granted, absolutely. Also, Barksdale was caught on film saying something to a catcher that was taken and spun. What he said on the ball call on the pitch that was in the zone, because the catcher caught it, stood up, and ran away right away, started to at least, was you got up, you moved, you got out of there. Something like that where it sounds like the catcher, he's like, dude, you showed me up. You can't do that. That's at least how people spun it. That's not what he meant, but that's how everyone spun it. Because the one-liners that you use like that on a national stage, hundreds of cameras, microphones everywhere, people are going to interpret whatever you say however they want to say it. Remember in the past video about umpires speaking in public, I said, they're out to get you. So you better be careful, because silence can't be misquoted. It's the same thing here. This is why umpires don't give post-game presses. They rarely speak in public, especially not to fans in a, in a setting like that. And this is why. Because you can't say anything and trust that people will be responsible for it. They won't. What Barksdale meant about what his comment was, was umpires are taught to see the pitch into the catcher's glove, the full thing. In basketball, we call it start, develop, finish. You don't make the call until you've seen the start of the play, you've seen the play develop, and you've seen the play finish. So in baseball, we're looking for the ball into the catcher's glove. That's what Barksdale's talking about. And he, what he means to say is, you got up and left before I could see the ball into your glove. I couldn't see the entire play. Because I couldn't see the entire play, I couldn't process it and give you the strike. Because I didn't see it. That's what he meant. But it got spun out of control because the one-liner doesn't incorporate those little tiny tidbits that are very vital to understanding what he's talking about. And fans at large don't understand officiating. They'll never understand it. They don't understand half the rules. So, of course, they're not going to understand the intricacy, and they're just going to spin it and say, oh, yeah, the umpire was biased. It was an FU call, even though that's remarkably uncharacteristic for Barksdale. We did this with Manny Gonzalez when Royals pitcher Montgomery accused Manny Gonzalez of being biased, and we said, uh, Manny's, number one, his plate score favored Kansas City back in that game in September, I believe it was. And number two, Manny has one of the historically low ejection rates, not of the current staff, but of all time. Lower than Ted Barrett, lower than Jim Joyce. He doesn't eject people. How can he be that biased that he's causing problems and looking to start fights? It doesn't fit his character. Just like this doesn't fit Barksdale's character at all, what the Washington media or fans would be accusing him of. And that's a good segue, seeing the ball into the catcher's glove, to pitch skew in general. Washington hasn't won a pitch skew game all postseason long. And the reason isn't as conspiracy-oriented as many fans would like to believe. Again, fans, you love using the computer. Let's use the computer to talk about this, rather than just foregoing the computer for emotional arguments. You have a problem in Kurt Suzuki, because he can't frame. And he's been consistently giving the other pitch or the other team, pitch skew. He has a cumulative negative 2.9 pitch skew for the postseason, which means that other teams, when he catches, are getting skews of about plus three every game. 
the other catcher, Gomes, has a skew of negative 0.4, which is still slanted toward the other team, but it's much, much, much closer to neutral. So the best bet for Washington to win a pitch, a pitch skew game at all the, this World Series is to put Kurt Suzuki on the bench, and I hear he's injured, so that might make the decision easier. Put Suzuki on the bench for the rest of the series. Put Gomes in. Gomes is a much better pitch framer, and I know that you think it's bunk science. A lot of people think pitch framing is bunk science, but remember what I said. See the ball all the way into the catcher's glove. That's what pitch framing is, how you receive the pitch. It affects how an umpire sees the ball into the catcher's glove. So as bunk science as you want to say the pitch framing is, some of you, I refer you to the accompanying article on CloseCallSports.com where I list a table of every single pitch skew that Washington had for the entire postseason, and you can see the difference between Suzuki and Gomes, and you can see that Washington doesn't get benefit, and you can see the Dodgers are pretty good at this pitch skew game. I also did a video and an article on that, and I recommend that you watch it. But overall, as bunk science as you might think it is, there are statistics about pitch skew, and they suggest that Washington's catching is problematic for that battle. And the best way, the best hope that Washington has of winning the pitch to you battle in game six or seven is to put Gomes behind home plate. And, you know, after losing three games at home, that's sort of the reverse home field advantage sweep in a best of four series, losing three in a row at home. And I'm sure that contributed to a whole bunch of Washington people being really, really, really angry and taking it out on an umpire who the computer says was statistically neutral. The best bet is to put Gomes in. And that's about it. The World Series is almost over. We're going to have some great off-season content, some teachables and podcasts coming up, some great guests. Visit us at CloseCallSports.com. Like this video and subscribe. Follow us on Twitter at Umpire Ejections. Facebook as well is Umpire Ejections. And we'll see you on the site.